Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a review of the Aquion 10 watt mini heater. This is what the heater looks like. So there's quite a few things I'm going to be touching on today in my review, and some of those are the targeting temperature range, whether or not the heater is stable, the overall rating that most people have rated it, um, the appearance in your tank, whether or not it's temperature controlled, the accessibility and where you can find it, the price of it, and whether or not is it in adjustable, then I'll just give off my overall thoughts. So for this heater, the targeted temperature that um, the thing says that it aims to be at is around 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this heater is said to be for tanks five gallons and under. Now when I have used this in a five gallon tank, it was large enough of a tank I guess that it kind of worked out. But when I use this in my two and a half gallon, which does fit into its you know targeted range, um, it was way too hot and it actually ended up putting my tank to about, I want to say maybe like 85 degrees. Um, it was around 30 degrees Celsius. Whether or not the heater is stable, um, unfortunately I have to say no. Now the reason that I say this is that this heater doesn't really have an internal thermostat. So basically what this means is that it is always pumping out 10 watts of heat. So if your house goes up in temperature or whatever room that you're in, then you're also going to get your heater going up. So therefore, um, any fluctuations in room temperature will be mimicked by the heater because it doesn't have an internal thermostat. Now the rating, when you look this up, the rating on most places is actually very low for this heater for this exact reason. Um, most places will only rate it about one or two stars. Now as far as the appearance in a tank, I will give it some points there. It is probably one of the smallest mini heaters I have seen. Um, it is very small. I want to say it is maybe four to five inches at most. So on that side, it is very nice. It is very sleek, very thin, um, and it's not too long. So for appearance wise, it is a very nice heater. Now does it reach the target temperature? Yes, it does reach the target temperature in about five gallon aquariums. This heater is advertised to work for five gallons and under. Therefore, it should work for tanks five gallons and under. So that goes from anything from one gallon all the way up to five. Now, it does work in the five gallon aquariums. I have used it in a five gallon and it put it right at the targeted temperature every single time. However, when I put it in my two and a half gallon, it did not adjust for the like the smaller tank size, the less water, and it actually ended up making my tank way too hot. It does reach the targeted tank range for the upper level, but if you want to do the lower level of where this tank says it will do, um, then it does not. So overall, because it has to reach five gallons and under, I'm going to say no. Now when it comes to accessibility and how easy it is to find it, basically where to buy, everything like that. This heater can be found almost anywhere. Um, pretty much every fish store that I've gone to does sell this heater, whether it's a local fish shop or a chain pet store such as PetSmart or Petland. And I'm sure for my American followers, Petco has it as well. This heater can also be found online almost anywhere simply because it is such not only a popular brand, but just a popular heater in general. Um, there's not a lot of options for small heaters out on the market, so it is very easy to find this one. Now, when you come to the price, it is also one of the most cheap mini heaters. Um, this one is about 18 and a few other ones are usually a few dollars more. And these are in Canadian prices. So for the most part, it is one of the cheapest heaters. So it is definitely affordable. Now, whether or not it is adjustable. Now this heater is not adjustable. It does not have a dial or anything on it that can, um, that you can adjust to whether or not you want it to be hotter or colder. Now the temperature control. The temperature control in this heater is unfortunately not effective. Once again, it just pumps out 10 watts of heat. Basically, if the temperature goes up, the heater is not going to be able to sense it, you're not going to be able to adjust it, and it will stay hot. So if for whatever reason your tank goes above in heat, um, this heater will not account for it and it will just get hotter as well. So my overall thoughts on this heater, I think you've probably figured it out by now, and that 
Unfortunately, I cannot recommend this heater. Um, I can't say it's probably your best bet. I have definitely used other mini heaters in the past that are a lot more reliable and a lot better. I have used it in a five gallon aquarium. It did work fine. Um, it kept the tank there. Um, it does not work for the entire span that it says, and it's not temperature controlled. It's not adjustable. So that is everything that I have to say about this heater. I always want to give positive reviews, but I also want to be honest, and so I didn't want to make this video and say that it was amazing when it wasn't. So unfortunately, I had to make my first bad review today. But if you liked this video or found it helpful, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any points towards this heater, either for or against it, that you think other fish keepers might want to know, then leave it in the comments down below. But if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. That is all for today, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye, guys.